Welcome to Reconstitution Review, where we'll go over how to reconstitute with various infusion devices. With all factor reconstitution, it's important to let the factor get to room temperature. And while you're waiting, you wash your hands. When they're dry, put on your gloves to get started. Welcome to Reconstitution Review with BioSet, which can be used with Bayer products. You're going to prepare, activate, and transfer your factor. Set up on a clean, flat surface. Remove the vial cap by moving it from side to side while lifting up. Make sure that the tip cap has not been tampered with on the syringe, and then carefully separate it from the syringe. Connect the pre-filled syringe to the top of the vial, but don't over-tighten. Activate the vial by placing it on a flat surface. Hold the vial firmly with one hand, with the other hand, place your thumb and forefinger on the finger plate of the syringe. Press down on the finger plate until the bottom meets the top of the vial. You may see some diluent enter the powder vial. This step is the most important step. If the finger plate is not pushed down until it rests on the top of the vial, the system may not work properly. It is okay to push the syringe down further if necessary. Next, pick up the plunger rod by the top. Do not touch the rest of the rod. Connect the plunger to the syringe by screwing it clockwise. Then, press down slowly to push diluent into the vial. Mix completely by slowly swirling the factor. Inspect to make sure that there are no particles and the factor should be clear. With the syringe and plunger rod attached, turn the system upside down and withdraw all of the factor. Tilt the vial from side to side and back to get all of the factor out. Next, unscrew the syringe. You're almost ready to infuse. Bayer recommends that you use the infusion set that comes with the BioSet as it has a built-in filter. Now you're ready to infuse. Thank you from the staff of the Hemophilia Treatment Center at Children's National. This video was produced by the Hemophilia Association of the Capital Area through funding from the Colburn Keenan Foundation and the Innovating Worthy Projects Foundation.